welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The 76ers anxious to get off the bus and get down to business a look from earlier as they arrived at the arena. The skyline of Orlando is seen here during a gorgeous sunset. Quite a backdrop for our broadcast tonight. Welcome sports fans, thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke and on the sideline, David Aldridge. And with us tonight, four-time NBA champion, Shaquille O'Neal. Doesn't that sound great when you hear that? All the, all the team I, success you had in addition to the individual. I love it when you say it. I love it so much that uh, I can impersonate your voice. Are you, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, it's great to have you uh, here by my side, Kevin. And a shout-out to our terrific 2K crew. <clears throat> How'd that Shaq, sound? That you like that? amazing. That's you like that? How did you do that? That impressive. I, I, I don't How know. Did. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You look at Orlando, third best record here in the early going. And of course, the Philadelphia 76 a game behind. And seeing where the Magic are, every NBA season, there's always going to be some big surprises in store. And, and I think this season, they'd have to be considered one of the biggest of them all. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Hey, Kevin. Thanks very much. And, David, he is just getting started. Great stuff. Thanks, as always. And they always say great offense beats great defense, but let's give those elite defenders their due. Shaq, who stands out as the best defensive players in your mind in the league right now? Well, I got three names. Uh, first, since I'm a big guy, let's go with the big guys. Rudy Gobert, a.k.a. the Stifle Tower. See, that's his bread and butter when you talk about defense. Then yep. you got to go to, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, that's the claw, Kawhi Leonard. Always going to be on that list. And I got to throw in go. Jimmy Butler. He never backed down from anyone. Can you make that noise one, one more time? Uh, 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 Is that like a bird or something like that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh you know what? You have the job. I like that. <laughs> oh, look at the 76ers starting group. Ingram is out there with Robert Covington. Then there's Lowry. And then there's Steven Adams. And it's Beal in at the shooting guard position. And for the Magic, they've got Andy Takumbo Brown out there with Kendrick Nunn. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Carter in at the five spot. Off the inbound, and out of the Kumbo, lays it up and in. And I really marvel at the touch of Antetokounmpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. It's Beal on the wing. Shoots over Brown. Beal can't get it to go. And so Antetokounmpo will bring it up for the Magic. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. So much love for the perimeter offense these days. But Shaq, for your money, who are some of the best back-to-the-basket players that are in the NBA right now? The list is short, but it's still a, a very impressive list. Joel Embiid, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Anthony the Brow Davis. I can't argue with any of those names. No, not at all. No? Middleton against Ingram. Another shot. And it's Carter missing. None against Lowry. Here's Ingram. And they call an illegal screen here. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. With some arc, they get the rebound. And then Carter with the jam. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and, and doesn't take any chances there with the put. And GA strong work all around. Mm -hmm. And the rebound and the stuff both. Wow. And Adams with the slam. Wow, what an easy look Kyle Lowry creates for his teammates. One of the best setup men in the entire league. Shaq, we all know it would happen for you. First ballot Hall of Famer. What's it been like joining that incredible group, that historic company? 
Well, I just say I'm both proud and humble, and it's something I couldn't have imagined growing up. And I can remember my first taste of confidence was a guy named Kevin Harlan. I was in Kansas City at the McDonald's All-American game. Nobody really knew who the kid from Texas was. I said, I got to make a name for myself. I took it coast to coast and threw it down. And then I looked at you and you were going crazy. I didn't know what you were saying, but then when I got home, my dad had recorded on VHS and that lovely voice, Shaquille O'Neal, take it out. I was like, man, I love that voice. And here we are again. I don't know how many years that is. I don't want to show our age. It's a long you, time, buddy. isn't it? Yes. I'm here because of you. Thank I remember you. it. Galloping O'Neal down the court. Yes. So it's Orlando now, trailing by two. Round the pass to Ana de Kumbo. And Giannis throws it down. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Down low. Here's Adams. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the night. No good on that one. The league is moving to create an in-season tournament, Shaq, something that we'd uh, seen in soccer leagues overseas. Like that idea? I like that Adam Silver and the league are being forward-thinking. I think players always say if you're, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. I think it's smart for, for the league to have the same approach. I just wish everybody well. Yeah, and listen, ultimately, if they do make some changes, it's going to get some pushback, no doubt about it. But as Shaq said, when you start thinking forward, it's about those younger generations because at some point, that's all they're going to know. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. And Whiteside sends it back. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say last touch by Adams. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Orlando making some changes. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Luke Kennard comes in for Brown. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Kendrick Nunn. Philadelphia also making some changes. Mann's checked in, and Curry subbed in for Beal. Right side, good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Mann, Brooks covering, back to Okafer, and stolen by Whiteside. And oh, here we go, Brooks got it, the fast break chance. Again, the Magic score. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And Shaq, you were able to do what many players dream of, which is represent the U.S. on an international level. When you reflect on your time with USA Basketball, what stands out? First of all, I should have been on that 92 team, but that's a different story. We're not going to talk but about that But didn't they now. take Christian Leighton? Yeah, they, they took Christian Leighton. Yeah. But I won a FIBA World Gold in 94. It's a great experience. Yep. However, I should have been on the 92 team. I would have been, been on the 92 team. There's no doubt you been on the 92 team. Which team? 92. Yeah, you should have been 92. on the yeah, yeah, 92. I'm, I'm. Those checked in for Maxi. These players have been vacuums on the boards recently, leading the league in rebounding the past month. Second, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He must be spending a lot of time in the weight room because he's shown such strength under the basket. Outside Curry. Shot to stop the run. Drains it from beyond the arc. Well, you cannot let Seth Curry have room to shoot on the perimeter. You are asking for trouble. Now, here's McConnell. He's covered by Rondo. Here's Whiteside, and it's slammed in by Whiteside. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Here's Mann. Eight points his last outing. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Inside, Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. Yeah, Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal. Has that exceptional feel for when one of his guys is open. Magic leading by five. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first. Here's McConnell, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. 
and they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That's good for McConnell. Rondo passes to Mann. For the three, another three for Philadelphia. And this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. It's the Magic. They're up by five. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. And catching up with Luke Kennard before the game, he discussed what it takes for young players to acclimate themselves to the NBA. You know, this game, you know, it's it's a physical game, obviously, but you know, a lot of it is mental. Um, so, you know, just you know, making sure um, you're thinking while you're out there is you know one of the big things for me. Greg, you know this. It takes time mentally for the game to slow down. It's a great point. This is why most championship teams are laden with seasoned veterans. You can't rush experience. It happens at its own pace. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? Well, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And so in the game for the 76ers, Jaleel Okafor is out there with Robert Covington, and there's Seth Kerr, and it's Rajon Rondo, and it's Mann in its small forward. Lock it two. On its way from Curry for two, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Curry's got five points so far. Orlando leading. It seems like we're in an era of tandems in the NBA. Teams with at least two great players. Shaq, if you're selecting a pair to start a team with, uh, mix and match however you want, who would you take? I uh, definitely got to take the Greek Freak, and uh, I'm going to take Luka Doncic. Because oh, you know, yeah. they're, they're, they're superstars already, but they're still entering their prime. Give me those two, it's a wrap. Yeah, uh, for me, Luka, no doubt about it. It'd be interesting to see how those two would play together. Uh, I would Magic. Chris Middleton's checked in for Whiteside. Brown comes in for Brooks, and it's Kendrick Nunn in for T.J. McConnell. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Outside, Beal. He kicks it to Lowry. Here's Tucker. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Tucker's got his first points in this one. Well, that's just superb coordination and balance right there. Tucker's hard to move once he gets the ball inside. Here's Middleton to the inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The Magic shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And the first one drops. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. Carter hits them both. The 76ers trail by four. Ingram outside. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And how about the deceptive strength of, of Ingram just willing his shots in over the defense? They say landing in the right situation, Shaq, important for any player's career. What traits as you go back and look and 
what you've seen now and when you played, what traits separate the great organizations in this game? Well, one, you got to have experience. So I think you got to have some battlers up there in the Raptors, and I, I think you got to have a mean front office. you got to have a Jerry West, a Mitch Kupchak, a guy that understands the players in the games. And you have to have a commitment and a culture of respect and trust. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, if you just look for a few minutes at Giannis Adentokounmpo on the court, you know why he's called the Greek freak, but it's the drive that makes him an MVP. He said, people try to make it complicated. Life is simple. You know what you want, go get it. Do what it takes every day and don't lie to yourself. Guys, I hope you understand I'm being truthful in all of these reports. Back to you. Love the intensity, David, thank you. Pulls it up, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Nunn's got it all tied up now for the Magic. It's Beal on the wing. Dishes to Adams. Back to Beal. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Shaq, you know the importance of great footwork, and I know that you have found some other guys that are standouts in that category right now in the league. Well, Kyrie Irving, he has great ball handling. You know, that definitely requires great feet work. Yes. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, <laughs> James Harden with that Euro step and that step back. you you got to have excellent feet work to pull those moves off. Middleton, the pass to Giannis from 12 feet out, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Philadelphia leading by three. Here's Beal. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. That's yeah, just a great move by Beal. Little shake, little bake right there. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. None against Lowry. Carter outside. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And you're not going to pass up that kind of play. Timeout called the 76ers. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And the 76ers making a change here. Maxi's checked in. Beal, the pass to Lowry. And he banks in the layup. Lowry's got the lead up to five now for the 76ers. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. And Middleton kicks to Brown. Back to Middleton. Shot clock at six. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. And we want to thank the big Aristotle for joining us here. Dropping knowledge as always. I'm telling you what, Shaq, you make our broadcast better. I want to say I appreciate that, Kevin, especially coming from you anytime, any place. You know where I am, brother. Just call me if you need me. You, we'll, you, are you going to be performing any ballet, the big Barishnikov? Nah. Have, have we given that up? Nah, my toes are, my toes are not feeling too well. <laughs> and Doris, always great to have Shaq with us, isn't it? You have to love his willingness to come at things from different angles. I mean, consider the cat. We hear that in Shaq's commentary. So for the Magic, Whiteside's checked in for Carter. Brooks comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Brown. Now, here's McConnell. Not a lot of room. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And Giannis throws it down. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And it's Beal in the corner. 
27 seconds left to play in the first half. Adams, two points, that one goes. Adams has got his second basket of the night. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Now McConnell, eight points his last outing. The pass to Anadokounmpo. Let's it go from 14. The shot comes out, and so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. What was the biggest problem for your guys in the first half? Well, you know what? We're a defensive team first, and we've been good defensively. We've been organized. We weren't that in that first half, and that's what we got to concentrate to get the game going back our way. See if you revert back to your form in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. We've got Carter. Riz Middleton is out there with Adetokounmpo. Then there's Brown, and it's none in at the point. That's who's out there for Orlando. And Covington sends it back. Tremendous anticipation from Robert Covington sends it back. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Well, I mean, they're still, power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, uh, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. That's good. And the 76ers lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket for Middleton. Philadelphia has gone six or seven from long range tonight. They've been on fire from way outside. Beal the pass to Covington. Out to Ingram. Launches a three. Offensive rebound. And it's Adams on the follow. And the 76ers lead by 10. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. None passes to Carter. Over Ingram. And it's Carter missing. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. I'll tell you this. When you let Bradley Beal catch a rhythm, turn the lights out. It's over. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. Down low. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Anadokounmpo. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. And the 17 for the Magic. Then for the 76ers, Mann's checked in, and Curry subbed in for Beal. The 76ers leading by 10. Curry on the wing. The dish to Covington. Over Middleton. Covington with the bucket. Covington's got his first bucket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Kennard. And again, it's the magic from deep. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Good on the three-point shot. Mann's got the lead up to 12 now for the 76ers. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Lowry against none. 
Kennard up top. Five on the clock. Here's Carter. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Three-pointer, Lowry. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, this guy can navigate around a basketball court with the best of them. Kyle Lowry in a catch-and-shoot turned the lights out. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. It's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Kawhi Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. GA, thank you. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Orlando making some changes. Whiteside's checked in for Carter. Brooks comes in for Brown. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Kendrick Nunn. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Rondo's checked in. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You could see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Rondo looking over the floor. Outside for Curry. A three ball. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Passes it to Middleton. Here is Whiteside. And the jam by Whiteside. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. Outside Curry. There's 48 seconds left to play in the third. Adams dishes to Curry. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Curry's got his third basket of the night right there. The Magic trail by 11. Up top, McConnell. He's covered by Rondo. He's from Brooks. Middleton's got seven points in the game. And with great positional size, Milton knows how to do damage down low. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Mann. Brooks covering. Here's Covington. Kennard with the rebound. Middleton right side. And Orlando again with the bucket. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. And so it's Philadelphia bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we'll be back with you shortly. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Now, here's Adetokounmpo on the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Robert Covington out there with Ingram. And then there's Stephen Adams. Then there's Lowry. And it's Beal in at the two-guard spot. And this is Middleton's game. He's thinking of shooting it even before the pass hits his hand. And Adams kicks to Beal. Slams it down right on top of Hassan Whiteside. How about putting on a show? Bradley Beal, the aerial improvisation. The Magic trail by six. Pass to Giannis. There's the lob into the combo. An emphatic LU jam. 
And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley-oop lobs. Right side, Covington. Kicks to Beal. The tray. A three-pointer is right on target. Beal's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Here's Middleton, and it's Orlando with another. Simply crushing it right now. So much more accurate in the second half than he was in the first. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for Philadelphia. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. The pass to Ingram. 76ers moving the ball around. They double-team Beal. Six to shoot. Chalk up two there. That's 10 points for Steven Adams. Many players will tell you Steven Adams is the strongest guy in the NBA. Boy, tough to corral when he's looking to score. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. It's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. For the Magic, Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Whiteside. Bruce Brown comes in for Brooks, and it's Kendrick Nunn in for T.J. McConnell. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Taxi's checked in for Kyle Lowry. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, guys, I had a chance to find out what Steve Clifford talked about with his players. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Okay, David, much appreciated. And yes, it's good. Giannis has got six here in this quarter. You know what? The switch has flipped, and he's in that proverbial zone right now, knocking down three of four here in the fourth. For three, Ingram. Another three for Philadelphia. And when Ingram is left alone from deep, his eyes light up. His shooting is just out of this world. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That's his first foul. Here are the Magic now. Eight-point game. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And really, the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. Here's Beal. The shot from the low post is good. Beal's got 23. And, and that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Count that bucket. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Bradley Beal. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Maxi. The 76ers leading by five. Outside, Beal. It's good, and that takes him to 77% shooting this game. 10 for 13. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. None against Lowry. Here's Giannis. And again, it's Orlando converting. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. For three, Ingram. That one doesn't go. The Magic go the other way with it. None finds Carter. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, five for 10. Looking to get stops late, that kind of defense ain't gonna cut it. That's unacceptable. The hustle and focus on that end is not there for either side. Here's Beal, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Oh, a timely one from Beal. Puts 
puts a smile on the coach's face. And that one falls for Beal. Now they're going for the jugular. A few more trips like that, and we might be able to see this one in the books. The Magic trail by six. Howry brings the double. None passes to Carter. And here is Brown. Now recovering. Middleton inside the three-point line. Some solid defense from Ingram. And so Lowry will bring it up for the 76ers. What's up a three? And Ingram the bucket on the assist from Beal. And now it's a 9.76ers lead. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They trail by nine. We've got 123 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Giannis. You can't get that one. Philadelphia leading by nine. Beal can't get it to go. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Tries again, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. Robert Covington's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Middleton against Ingram. Lowry inside the line. And right through it goes. And the 76ers lead by eight. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. And a big-time playmaker. When the game is up for grabs, give the rock to Giannis. Covington shot is off. The shot and game clock separated by four. The shot by Middleton, wide open. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And this is why he gets paid the big bucks. Middleton enjoys coming through in the clutch. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. You know, the amazing thing to me is as much as Bradley Beal has turned into a complete player for a guy who entered as simply a jump shooter, I think there's even another level he can get to. Well, those are essential free throws to make a three-point lead. It's going to take something from long range now to tie this game. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're down by three. There's 18 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And it's do or die time. Uh, they need a bucket here to stay alive. And it's either got to be a three-pointer or a score quickly and take the foul. Sixteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's none. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. It's good from beyond the arc. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. And so now a timeout called by Doc Rivers. Here's Beal. Oh, oh big time oh, play! Oh, and he nailed it! Oh! And he wins it at the buzzer. Oh, an astonishing way to end this game. Some serious last-second heroics. So it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that about wraps it up for Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is